Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Little Tom, he's, uh, he's uh, let's see, he's 12. He's 20 months old now, folks. I think it was pretty cool. You just heard that uh, promo. So it'll be 2 February 2nd at 11. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 514, Nasdaq's off 224, S&P's off 65, gold. Gold contract down $6.50, traded at 17.09 an ounce. We have silver down 33 cents, $21.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $3.09, $85.82 .82 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up one tick, trading 110.10. 10. 30-year down 10 at 119.20 and King Dollar. King Dollar's on the run top side once again. Up 831, trading 110, 467. The euro is at one, the yen is at uh, 146, and the British pound is at 113 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this is setting up right, man. That's the bottom line. We'll see how this is gonna shake out, but you know, we're Talking about the speculation yesterday that, you know, you get higher, you pull back with lighter volume coming into the um, CPI, and that's what it's doing. You know, you look at this SPY out here today, you get 51 million shares, you're coming into 103. I like the setup. The setup's telling me that whatever happens in the CPI, this wants higher price. So it's, it's, it's a, you know, we all know we're in the risk business, but the bottom line is that this is a nice setup. We take a look at the Qs. Qs in the same situation, man. Now, the Q, we know the NDX 100 is the weakest indice out there. Uh, bottom line, that being said, guess what? You're pulling back with, far, with 44 million. You're going into 78. So the high of 78 is 266. Now, this is where it gets a little dicey in the Qs. So you have, well, let's go, I want to go right back to the low. So your low that was established was 112 million, right? Then we made a little swing point up there with 50 million that gave it up in spades. We come back and tested with 78 million versus the 110. Now that's what we're doing today. You get, we'll probably do 55 versus the 78. Now, let's go into the futures. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the NDX. And the reason I'm gonna stick with the NDX is that if the, and this is something that you could keep, wrap your head around a bit. When you, can, when you understand first off what the weakest indice is, right? If you're looking for a market that can the market go higher, well, it's good to look at the weakest because if the weakest starts clicking higher at all, the market's gonna go higher. So we take a look at this, and first we take a look at the futures. And what we're gonna see inside the futures is that here's, here's your benchmark. The benchmark was the downdraft of yesterday. That benchmark, the low there is uh, 10,928. So we're 10,877. Now, we had volume there, folks, of uh, 21,000 contracts. And we broke it, we broke it with 14,000, and then 15,000, and, the, and then 16. So the bottom line is that you broke it with lighter volume. So now the get-go goes like this. If we can get back inside of this uh, 10,000, 10,928, uh, that's gonna get game, man. That's gonna get game that say, listen, you can get to higher price. Now, let's go to this dollar because the dollar is running the whole ball of wax. We take a look at this dollar out here and what you're gonna see inside the dollar, you know, we came down, we came down to that first swing again. Yesterday we broke it, it's rejected it again. So the real question is, are you going to, you know, that's telling me, well, if we're correct in the aspect of you're pulling back with light of arm at the CPI, no matter what it was, you go back topside, then in order for the market to go higher, the bottom line, the dollar has to go lower. So the dollar hasn't really done a big deal yet. 
uh, but it's higher. That's what it comes down to. Some of the higher volume equities. Now, some of these equities are getting smoked, though. I mean, for the indice being down what it is, which is not that bad, some of these equities are down big. I mean, we'll start with Tesla. You know, Elon Musk, I mean, you talk about taking people to the cleaners. It is unbelievable what he pulled off. And people, you know, <laughs> okay, so thus far, and we are 11 months into the year. He sold $36 billion worth of stock, folks, okay? And if we take a look at Tesla, okay, what you have here is, it looks to me like Tesla's going like to 79 bucks, man. <laughs> I mean, you, you just, we just broke lower. So, I mean, this, man, this, this is just insane. I mean, there's nothing stopping the stock. That's, that's the bottom line. So we'll, we'll see where it shakes out. But you, you broke a whole consolidation. You broke the consolidation that's been out there from uh, December of 2020. You know, we'll see what's going to have volume up. But the next stop for Tesla's, you know, we're at it. 179.83, that's that swing. Once you break that swing, man, that's like, okay, bring it on, man. You know, you're talking about 109. And, you know, it's paper is paper. That's what it comes down to. And, uh, uh you know, Bitcoin, XBT, I mean, this is about as heavy as you get. There's no doubt about it. What Bitcoin also did, Bitcoin broke. Bitcoin's on its way to $13,000. Right now, you're at sixteen seven fifty seven. You're going to see this one's a clean deal, man, meaning, you know, it's, it's a perfect time in the trade deal. You, you broke, we broke, we broke the seventeen fifty nine. Uh, you're at sixteen fifty six, And guess what? This thing started going up. Let me put this on a monthly. You can really see this thing. There it is, man. Next stop, 13,322. You break 13,322, then you're going to be down to 3,000. You break 3,000 and you're going to be down to 1,300. You break 1,300, you're going to be down to 252. It's sad but true. It's pretty amazing. It's, yeah, it's unbelievable actually. But the bottom line, that's where it's going. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, uh, down 530. Nasdaq's off 229. S&P's are off 67. Uh, gold's down uh, 720. Gold's holding up really well, as is uh, silver. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>